As a result of the ongoing police violence in the U.S., New York City has made the decision to ban police from participating in New York City Pride events until 2025. About 20 police officers attend a New York City Pride March annually. Several other cities have also made similar decisions out of the concern for the safety of the LGBTQ community. While some say this will make them feel safer, there are others that also say this decision is dehumanizing and excludes LGBTQ officers. I think it's created a, a, a really unnecessary, if I can say, a necessary division between groups that are part of the same community, certainly should be allied, um, have remarkably, if not identical, missions. The celebration and push for LGBTQ plus rights started from the long history of bigotry and harassment by police. Many gay businesses and communities were often attacked and shut down by law enforcement. The Stonewall Uprising in June 1969 sparked riots after the New York Police Department raided a gay bar known as the Stonewall Inn. The riots inspired people across the country to create change. But what about LGBTQ plus officers? They've been fighting for rights within their police units, and up until recently, being out and on the force wasn't tolerated. Marching in uniform was seen as a victory. Since they're part of both communities, we wanted to know how they felt about the bands. Officer Jason Samuel has been marching in uniform in the New York City Pride Parade for eight years. It's just the most, just, I see, other cops who are working that that march um, and that those festivities when I'm in uniform marching and they're on the sidelines doing protective work and it's everybody is got their regalia there's hugs there's kisses there's pictures there's selfies there's this there's that this this is an effort that we couldn't have enjoyed uh, and a culture we couldn't celebrate were it not for that you know hard fought, fought legal battle and where we've come. And those are the things, that's really why I think we want to maintain that uniform presence, that uniform visibility. As with any long, hard fought legal battle, especially when it has to do with your gender or identity and protecting that and being able to express that, um, and, and you win that, whether it's through legislation or litigation, those aren't concessions. Those aren't things that we as members of Gold see as a conceding point. You know, that's part of a history um, that needs to be remembered and documented and it needs to be reinforced through visualization and through visibility and us wearing our uniform uh to march uh aside from it being just a selfishly awesome experience you know just the march in pride it is for all it's 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 us reminding yes our own community we are there we're allies we are everywhere but it's also reminding um you know, the heteronormative among us, you know, the straight world, that there are gay cops, you know? I know that the uniform, because of what people have seen the uniform do in other areas can be frightening. As a law enforcement officer, this, what we wear, this uniform we wear, that's just another tool of my trade. Anybody can march in pride. Right? I don't, I don't have to have a uniform. I can march anytime I want. I can put whatever banner on. But does it have the same impact of me in my uniform showing that respect, showing that love for the community to say, I want you to see me for me. I want you to see what I do. And I want you to also realize how much I love and care you that I want to put on my best. What do you think? Should uniformed officers be banned to help the LGBTQ plus community feel comfortable during a time when they're supposed to be acknowledged and celebrated? Or is excluding LGBTQ plus officers sending the wrong message? 